And this next question came in from my friend Matt Zagaya, who helped me cover CES back in 2015. He's been noticing something I've been noticing, which is that smartphone development, especially at the flagship level, has plateaued. We're not getting to this huge upgrade every year like we were seeing in uh, the past decade. I've upgraded my iPhone every year since 2007, except this year. I did not go from my iPhone 10 to the 10S. Uh, just because I didn't see any compelling reason to do so. It has a marginally better camera. Yes, the processor is faster in the 10s, but really no one's taken advantage of the 10 processor yet, so there hasn't been much of a real reason to upgrade. Now, my wife had an iPhone 7 Plus, and she was talking about how the phone was just too big in her hand and she wanted something smaller. Uh, the way phones work in my house is that my wife would usually get my prior year phone and her mother would get the one that she had kind of work its way down the ladder there. And of course, this year I threw a wrench in that by not upgrading. So what I did is traded in her iPhone 7, uh, got her the 10s, and she likes it because it's smaller, but she hasn't really remarked about the performance. In fact, she had it for a couple of days, and I finally asked her, I said, hey, what do you think of the phone? Oh, I love it. It's so much smaller than my old one. I said, what about the performance? Does it feel faster? Does it feel better in any way? Eh, feels about the same to me. And I think that's really where we're at now. There was always a very big difference between the old phone and the new one. Now it's just kind of flat. I do think what's going to happen, though, is we're going to see the cheaper phones get better and better. And that, I think, is going to probably be the story in the smartphone world uh, for the next four or five years. And as that happens, as these uh, less expensive phones get more powerful, we may see developers really start pushing the hardware finally, because I think we haven't really been pushing hardware to its fullest, primarily because most people still had a low to mid-range phone. And now that these processors are getting faster and cheaper, I think we'll finally start seeing applications develop that might actually make use of these very powerful processors that have been very underutilized. And it's not just the iPhone, it's on the Android side as well. So let's see what happens in the next two or three years. But I think if you buy a flagship phone uh, now, you may not need to upgrade it for two or three years at least, uh, just because I think we have hit that plateau. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters Chris Allegretta, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.